Hi, I'm Dami from e l e a r n i n g Channel, l u c i a How's the song going? Is it coming along? Or do you still have trouble playing it? That's fine. You still have one more week to go. Today, we're going to learn suspended chord, which is a sus4. So it will be pretty much theory section. So you don't have to worry about it. You still have a week to go. So that's fine. Today's video, I will tell you what is the sus chord and how to play it and when to use sus chord. Are you ready to learn the sus chord? Let's go. Now here we're gonna learn new chord, which is sus chord. Have you ever seen sus chord before? Sus chord we write it something letter with s u s. S u s means a sustained chord. Normally the chord means s. If it's a C chord, C E G. If it's D chord. Write it. C sus four means added sustained fourth note. Means from C to E G. Instead of writing E, we add fourth one from the bottom. So one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be actually like this. This is we call sus chord. So sus chord is pretty simple. Whenever you see the chord from the chord, if it's a G. You add a fourth note, and then add it the fifth one. Why? Because the G chord is like this, G major, and then G sus4 means instead of third one, you add fourth one. That's what the sus chord. Got it? Yeah, it's easy, right? What about D sus chord, D major? This is a D major chord. Instead of third note F sharp, we add it. G, the fourth note. Got it. What about E sus chord? From the E, added four. So whenever you play sus chord, the fingering will be one, four, five, one, four, five. Got it. There's a little bit of exception. Now what about F chord? F chord is right. Then if we add a fourth one, is this going to be like this? No. Why? But there is one rule for the sus chord. You cannot just play it any fourth one, but it has to be from fifth note to whole step down the fourth one. If it's a D, D to A, and then whole step down, so it's gonna be this note. And if it's E, fifth note, and then come down. So this is E sus chord. But on F, it's gonna be trick. Why? Think about it. This is half step. It has to be whole step. So the sus note, sus four will be B flat. Do you remember the seventh chord? Yeah, C seventh chord. The seventh note is not this. Why? I told you right. From C note to whole step down. So this is a C seventh chord. But the D is not like this. But D. Why? Because from the D to it's already whole step down. Do you remember? Yes, the same way, exactly the same way. So if it's a G sus chord, from D you come whole step down. This is G sus chord. And what about A? Yes, E to whole step down. And what about B? B is actually one, two, three, four, five. So it's gonna be. B hat and the fifth note is F sharp, and then if we come down whole step, then it will be half and whole. That's the B sus four. This is one of most confusing 
not on our Y key chord. We're gonna learn more details of sus chord later on, but for now, just need to know on the Y key, not on the black key. There is more sus chord for C sharp and D sharp or F sharp and G sharp. But anyway, for now, we're gonna learn about the Y keys only. This time, I'm going to play it major chord, minor chord, and sus chord in all Y key. C major chord. C major chord is the C, you have a four half step, so one, two, three, four. And the next note is a three half step, so one, two, three. This is a C major chord. And minor is you just come down half step. And sus chord is leaving out the middle note and the four, whole step down from the fifth note, so one, two. C sus, four. Now, D chord. D major chord is a start from the D. And you go four half step up. One, two, three, four. And three half step. One, two, three. This is a D major chord. And D minor chord is the middle note half stepping down. D minor chord. And D sus chord. Leave it out the middle note, and from the top, you come down whole step. One, two. D sus four. E chord. E major chord. Start on E, and four half step. One, two, three, four. And next, one, two, three. This is E major chord. And E minor chord is middle note half stepping down, left to side. So that's E minor chord. And E sus4 is leaving the middle out and from top note to the whole step down. E sus4. F chord. F major chord is four half step up from F. So one, two, three, four. And three half step up. One, two, three. This is F major chord. And F minor chord is half step down from the F chord. F minor chord. And F sus chord is lift the middle out and coming whole step down. So this is a half step and you have to go another half step to half step down. So this is F sus4. G chord. G chord is you start from the G and G major chord, four half step. One, two, three, four. And three half step. One, two, three. This is G major chord. And G minor is half step down from the major. So you come left to side, G minor chord. And G sus4 is leave the middle out and from top to two half step down. G sus4. And A major chord. Start on A. And four half step. One, two, three, four. So that's one. One, two, three. A major chord. And A minor chord is a middle note half stepping down. And A sus4 is lift the middle out. And from the top, you come down one, two half step. A sus4. And B major chord is one of the hardest one. Start from the B, you go half step, four half step. One, two, three, four. So that's the D sharp. And next the three half step. One, two, three. So you have another sharp. So B and D sharp and F sharp. One of the hardest chord in Y key. B major chord. And minor chord is 
the metal note have stepped down. So left side, you just come down to the left side, B minor chord. And B sus4 is, you leave it out the third, and from the top, come down one, two half steps. So it's going to be like this. This is B sus4. Got it? So you need to practice whole major key and minor keys and sus4 every day. And try to memorize it. Okay? And if you're good at it, edit the seventh note. I mean, it requested me to send it the video about major and minor chord. Yes, I will add the seventh chord. Seventh chord is just like this. You use another seventh note, but do you remember from C2? Whole step down. So one, two, whole step down. And seventh note, the fingering will be one, two, three, five. So this will be C7 chord and D7 chord will be from the D major and you add whole step down. So D major 7 and E major chord will be E major chord and add a 7th note. So E from whole step down. The fingering will be all the way through the same. 1, 2, 3, 5. And F7 chord is F major chord and 7th note, but not this one, F from whole step down. So it's going to be 1, 2. So E flat is F7 chord and G major chord. And if we add it from G2, 1, 2. That's G7 chord. And A from the A major chord you come down one, two. That's A seventh chord. And what about B? The same way. This is B major chord and from the B to one, two. This is B seventh chord. So you can practice seventh chord later because this one has more number and then using different fingerings. So when you practice seventh chord, Practice separate, major, minor, and suspended chord. So it goes like this. Got it? So the very last note is C sus chord here. So it ended on C sus. Normally the sus chord supposed to go back to E so it will be sound like more ending it really ending it if we end in a sus chord seems like it is ongoing why ending it like this maybe I think this is all the story but it's ongoing still in my heart so maybe wanted to make it some sustained sound to make it my story is not ended, but is still somewhere as an ing. Got it? So for today, we learned a very simple rhythm and also sus chord. Next week, we're going to play an advanced rhythm, which has like more like that in rhythm and many eighth note and syncopated rhythm just like you heard it at the beginning. 
Do you get the sus chord? Yes, it's pretty simple, right? It looks really hard, but once you know, it's really easy to find. I guess sus4 is easier than the seventh chord or about the same, right? There is a more suspended chord like sus2. It's similar to sus4, but we will learn that one later. So wait for that. And just remember what is the sus4. And from now, whenever you see sus4, just play the chord as we learn. Next week, I'm going to teach you the advanced version of my origin story, which will be sounds just like music video, as you hear. It has syncopated rhythm and a little bit more advanced chord playing. So until next week, just keep working the easy version of my old story and try to master the sus4 chord and i will see you next week bye